next incision is I pick up the skin, the loose flap of skin towards the end of the, the keel bone and make a cut parallel to tearing the skin further towards the head will reveal the crop. The crop is a storage organ for the food as it is rapidly taken in by the bird. There is very little activity other than storage for this and quite often you will find food in here. This is very thin skin and very easily penetrated with the scissors. Revealing normal food from a, a layer ration. In order to make the bird lie down nice and level we can dislocate the hips. So we grab the top part of the leg and just twist it to reveal the head of the femur bone. And we can do the same on the other side. So that enables us to have a good view of all the abdomen. We then cut into the abdomen by making a small cut at the back of the keel bone. You can then get your scissors into the side of the bird, slowly cutting down, keeping the edge of the scissors very, very close to the wall and going through the rib cage and cutting all the way down. being very careful not to touch any of the internal structure of the bird. Do the same on the other side. That enables us then to enter the abdomen and the... We can then enter into the main body cavity of the bird by pulling the breast muscle and all the rib cage back as far as it will go. Okay. The things to point out that are revealed are the heart four chambered as in us, two ventricles and two atria which collect and pump the blood around the body. We have the lung tissue, same the other side, and we have the dark coloured liver. This yellow material here is simply fat and beneath the fat we have the gizzard, a very silver thick walled organ that we'll dissect later. Okay. We have now reflected the liver to reveal a small brown marble sized structure called the spleen and a green fluid filled structure called the gallbladder. I have dissected out the liver and spleen from the body over here. The liver is mainly responsible for metabolism in the body and also detoxification of any noxious substances and has a great ability to regenerate. In the normal liver we have nice sharp edges to all the liver lobes. The spleen is involved with the immune system of the bird and also in the 
production of blood cells and the storage of blood. The liver and the spleen quite often are infected with E. coli and other bacteria because of their proximity to the intestine and also because of their functions. When we have bacteria in the blood, a septicemia, then these organs are often affected. We're now going to look at the digestive tract. We mentioned the crop, which stores the food. The food then travels down into the proventriculus. It goes from the proventriculus into the thick walled gizzard. And we can dissect that out, surrounded by all the fat. Here are all the intestines that we're going to carefully dissect out. This tissue here is called an air sac. And air sacs are like bellows that collect the respiratory air and pass it back through the lungs before the air exits out of the bird. The Southwest Layers in Game Bird Initiative is part of the Swahili Project, an RDPE initiative, and the Layers in Game Bird Project is delivered by Dutchie College Rural Business School.